right, Connor, what's up? Okay, so we're just gonna test our new uh, marine battery to see where our voltage is after using it all night long to run a fan. So I'm really excited about it because um, it's the first time we're testing to see what the difference is, and it's also a brand new battery, so, and it's also a marine. So I'm, I really don't know all that much about what's gonna happen. What are the volts gonna be? So we're pulling this sucker out. You just wanna be careful, you know, there's a, there's a hot and a, and a ground. You don't wanna touch them both at the same time, especially not with metal. And this is a beautiful little voltmeter. Um, a lot of different settings on these guys, but when you're using it for a battery, any car battery, you're gonna set it to 20 volts, which is right here, this setting right here. 20 and V. And you got your hot and your cold. So the hot is a plus sign or red, and the cold or the ground is going to be the, the negative symbol or uh, black generally. So in order, so to test these, you just put, put one on one, one on the other. I, just, I like to do it like that. Okay, so yesterday we were running at like 13 and a half. 13 and a half. So we used like less than two volts, which is amazing. Like we have so much voltage usage still on this battery. And these marine batteries can get a lot lower than car batteries. So it's awesome. I mean, everything's working exactly the way it should be working. Connor, where did we get this marine battery and how much was it? Uh, this one we got at Walmart. It was um, just a big marine battery that they had, uh, one of the cheapest ones that they had, and it was like $110 after returning the core. So you bring in your old dead battery and um, it was $12 core charge. If you didn't have that, they would add $12 on, so it would have been $122. It's about $110, and this thing, honestly, it should last like a really long time. <laughs> I don't want to say a lifetime, but a very long time.